Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to be playing the single dozen roulette strategy it's a very simple strategy we're basically going to be betting on one dozen so the way we're going to be making our bet selection it's based on the last outcome so for example you see the last outcome being number 14 i've provided a chart at the end of this video to simplify things for you next to number 14 you would see the third dozen so that is the dozen that you are going to uh, bet on so i'm using a 500 unit bankroll that is my stop loss i am playing for 10 units uh, profit per session when i've made that 10 units i'm going to take a break of 5 to 10 minutes and then come back again for my uh, second session so as long as i'm breaking even or in profit i am going to restart the entire progression so as i mentioned before i have provided a chart with uh, the bet selections all you need to do is just uh, follow the chart based on the last outcome so i'm going to focus more on the better progression so uh, let's get started as we go along you can see exactly uh, how it works so we have a uh, number 14 again let's just force a spin so we have a uh, 14 came there uh, back to back all right so we have a uh, number 20 so we look on our chart number 20 tells us to bet on the first dozen we place one unit on uh, the first dozen we spin this is spin number one remember we're using a tree count so I'll, exa I'll explain exactly how it works so you look on the chart you see zero it tells you to bet on the first dozen this is spin number two you lose on spin number two follow the chart for number 33 this is spin number three So we have a hit on spin number three so we're basically breaking even but when you have a hit on spin number three uh you are going to keep your bets to the same now we were just betting one unit so we're basically uh back to our uh, 500 units we're breaking even but let's say you were betting uh the two or three units uh as your base bet and you had a hit on spin number three you are going to keep your bets at the same and just uh, restart the count so let's uh move along as uh, as we go along i'll show you exactly how it works let's uh, hope we get a losing streak so number 11 came i followed the, the chart there it tells me to bet on the third dozen this is spin number one so i'm basically restarting the entire progression so i lose on spin number one this is spin number two i have a hit on spin number two now I'm in one unit uh, profit. I am going to restart the entire progression. As I told you, I am not, uh, as long as I'm breaking even or in profit, I am going to restart. So I follow the chart again. This is spin number one. I restarted the entire progression. I lose on spin number one. Spin number two. I'm playing for anything greater than one unit profit. My overall target for session for this uh, session is going to be uh, 10 units so i have a hit on spin number two i am up to uh, two units in profit i am going to uh, restart the entire progression spin number one playing for anything greater than a uh, two units profit i lose spin number one spin number two I lose on spin number two spin number three so now i increase my uh, bet by one unit because um i lose on spin number three so i, I was betting one unit i'm now going to uh, my base bet is now going to be two units i follow the chart this is spin number one So I have a hit on spin number one playing for anything greater than two units profit I'm up to three units in profit I'm going to restart the entire progression it tells me to bet on uh, the second dozen this is spin number one playing for anything greater than three units in profit I lose on spin number one spin number two I lose spin number two.
pin number three. So I lose on spin number three. I therefore have uh, no choice to increase my bet by one unit and restart the count. This is spin number one using two units. I'm playing for anything greater than three units in profit. I lose on spin number one. Spin number two. I have a hit on spin number two. So I check my profits. I am up to uh, two units. I'm playing for anything greater than three units in profit. So now I told you when you have a hit on spin number three that you are going to uh, keep your bets to the same. Now if you have a hit on spin number one or spin number two and you're not breaking even or not in profit, you are going to minus one unit from your bet and continue the count. So we had a hit on spin number two. Our last bet was using two units. We are going to minus one unit from our bets and continue the count. Spin number three. Playing for anything greater than a three units in profit. So we lose on spin number three. So remember what I told you. When you lose on spin number three, you increase your bet by one unit and you restart the count. So we're now up at uh, two units again. This is spin number one. We lose on spin number one. Spin number two. Lose on spin number two. Spin number three. So we lose on spin number three. We therefore have no choice but to increase our bets by one unit. So our base bet is now at uh, three units. We restart the count. This is spin number one. Playing for anything greater than three units in profit. We have a hit on spin number one. We're still down. We're not. Uh, we're not above uh, three units in profit so we were betting uh, our base bet as our three units we're going to minus one and continue the count this is spin number two lose on spin number two continue the count spin number three We lose on spin number three. We follow the chart. We had a loss on spin number three. So we increase our bets by one unit. We restart the count back at one. This is spin number one. Playing for anything greater than three units in profit. We're currently uh, three units down. Spin number two. We have a hit on spin number two. So remember I told you when you have a hit on spin number one or two, you are going to minus one unit from your bets and continue the count. Spin number two. Spin number three. And uh, we lose spin number three. So we add one unit to our base bet. We follow the chart. Tells us a bet on the two dozen. This is spin number one. Playing for anything greater than three units in profit. We have a hit on spin number one. We minus one unit from our bet. We continue the count. Spin number two. And we have a hit on spin number two. So we're up to uh, six units in profit. We're going to uh, restart the entire progression. So we're playing for anything greater than a uh, six units profit. We follow the chart. It tells us to bet on a third dozen. This is spin number one using uh, one unit. We have a hit on spin number one. So we're up to 8 units in profit. We're going to restart the entire progression. Spin number 1. Our target is uh, 10 units per session. And we have uh, made our target. We had a win on the first dozen there. 
So as you can see, we're up uh, 10 units in profit. Now our hit rate is uh, down to 39%, but uh, we still managed to make uh, our 10 units uh, target. So when you have made uh, that your 10 units uh, profit, you are going to uh, take a break of 5 to 10 minutes and come back again. But uh, only for this video, I'm just going to force a spin and pretend that I took a break of 5 to 10 minutes. But you are not going to do that, guys. You are actually going to take that break and then come back again. So I see number 21 was the last outcome. I follow the chart. It tells me to bet on the first dozen. I place one unit. This is spin number one. I am playing for anything greater than 10 units in profit. My uh, overall target is going to be 20 units. This is spin number two. I lose on spin number two. Spin number three. So I have a hit on spin number three. So when you win on spin three, you are going to keep your bets the same and just restart the count. But we're basically breaking even, so it's uh we're basically restarting the entire progression. Spin number one. Lose spin number one. Spin number two. have a hit on spin number two so we have made one unit in profit we are up to 11 units so I'm going to restart the progression again spin number one now the bet selection is a uh, pretty simple you just need to follow the chart that I've provided at the end of this video and uh, it's the betting progression that you need to uh, get under control once you understand the betting progression you'll have no problem this is spin number two Playing for anything greater than 11 units in profit. So I've made that uh, that uh, hit there on spin number 2. I'm up to 12 units in profit. I'm going to restart the entire progression. Spin number 1. I lose spin number 1. Spin number 2. I have a hit on spin number two so again I'm in profit I'm going to restart the entire progression I follow the chart number nine tells me to bet on the two dozen this is spin number one playing for anything greater than 13 units I have a hit I'm up to 15 units in profit I restart the entire progression 33 tells me to bet on the first dozen this is spin number one I lose on spin number one Spin number two, I'm playing for anything greater than 15 units profit. I lose on spin number two. Spin number three. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of uh, losing streak here. Let's hope it continues so I can show you exactly how the progression works. So this is uh, spin number one. I lost on spin number three, so I increased my bets by one unit. I restarted the count. That was spin number one. This is spin number two. Lose on spin number two. I move to spin number three. So I have a hit on spin number 3. When you hit on spin number 3, you keep your bets to the same. We were betting uh, 2 units. I'm going to keep my bets at 2 units and restart the count. This is spin number 1. I have a hit on spin number 1. I'm playing for anything greater than 15 units. I'm up to 16 units. I'm going to restart the entire progression. This is spin number one using one unit playing for anything greater than 16 units profit. My overall target is going to be a 20 units profit. I follow the chart. I move to spin number two. I 
I have a hit on spin number two. I was playing for anything greater than a 16 units. I'm up to 17 units. I restart the progression again. Spin number one. Anything greater than a 17 units. I lose on spin number one. Spin number two. I have a hit on spin number 2, anything greater than 17 units, I'm up to 18 units, I restart the entire progression, spin number 1, I lose spin number 1, spin number 2, playing for anything greater than 18 units in profit, I lose on spin number 2. Spin number three. Lose on spin number three. I have no choice. I have to increase my bets by uh, one unit. Restart the count. Spin number one. I lose on spin number one. I move to spin number two. I lose on spin number two. I move to spin number three. So I lose all three spins. I therefore increase my bets by uh, one unit and restart the count. So we had a, a outcome of number 13 there. I was uh, supposed to bet on the third dozen, but I uh, accidentally bet on the first dozen. So uh, you just uh, follow the chart, guys, and uh, you'd be just fine. If you had followed the chart, you would have uh, had the win there. If I had uh, followed the chart, I would have had the win there. So that was uh, spin number one. Spin number two. I lose on spin number two. Spin number three. Okay, great. So I'm having this losing streak that I'm looking for. Lose on spin number three. I increase my bet by one unit. So I'm back to zero units in a profit. I had a win on spin number one. I minus one unit for my bet. Spin number two. I lose on spin number two. I continue to spin number three, still using uh, three units. I lose on spin number three. I increase my bet by one unit. I restart the count, spin number one. I am down to two units in profit, playing for anything greater than uh, 18 units. I lose spin number one, betting four units. Spin number two. Lose on spin number two. Spin number three. Lose on spin number three. I increase my bet by one unit. I was uh, betting 4 units, I'm now betting 5, I restart the count, spin number 1, I'm down 10 units, playing for anything greater than uh, 18 units in profit. I had a hit on spin number 1, using 5 units, I minus my bet by 1 unit, um, my base bet is now at 4 units, I continue the count, spin number 2. I lose spin number 2, I continue the count. Spin number three. I lose on spin number three. I increase my bet by one unit. I restart the count. Spin number one. Have a hit on spin number one. Minus one unit from my bet. 
continued account spin number two have a hit on spin number two I minus one unit for my bet I continue the count spin number three I lose on spin number three I increase my bet by one unit I restart the count spin number one very simple guys I'm sure you are pretty much have the hang of it already so that was a spin number one I think so I'm going to minus one unit for my bet we were betting uh, four units this is spin number two and I have a hit on spin number two playing for anything greater than uh, 18 units and an overall target of uh, 20 units profit I'm up to uh, 21 units so as you can see guys uh, we had our losses there we were up at 18 units profit we went down I think to a minus 8 units so uh, and now we're back up at 21 units in profit so as you can see guys just with a little bit of patience our bankroll was never in any danger at any point in time so I'm using a 500 unit bankroll for this uh, video now you would encounter uh, losing streaks from uh, from time to time it happens but uh, always play responsibly remember that roulette is a risky and unpredictable game so never use the money that you uh, can't afford to lose but it's a very simple strategy anyone can play it so i hope it makes you some uh, easy profits i hope you enjoyed this video i thank you so much for watching i hope and i'll see you on the next video guys have a good one